Hello there and welcome to the clinic. So I understand this is your annual eye examination and you have quite an ocular history. So just looking at the notes. We last saw you about 10 months ago and you suffer with cataracts, glaucoma, and early onset macular degeneration. So I believe that you're under the eye hospital for glaucoma specifically. And you feel as though your peripheral vision has gotten a little bit worse. Okay, so we'll be performing a wide variety of tests just to see how things are. And I can always send a letter back to your consultants with the outcomes of today. Okay, so I just want you to cover your left eye with the palm of your hand and we'll start with a vision test. So just say what letter you see on the chart please. Good. Excellent, just about. Okay, that's a little bit too blurred. Okay, right, and just one more of similar size. Do you see the letter there? A little bit too blurred. That's fine. Okay, just cover the other eye for me. We'll check the vision through the left eye. Just about distinguish that letter. Okay, so we're getting to the very small letters now. Too blurred. Okay, and the final one, just to confirm, it's a little bit too blurry. Very blurry. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cover the left eye again. We're going to do a near vision test. So through the right eye, have a little look at the chart. Can you read any letters on the top row there? Okay. This is a similar size, a different type of letters. Is that clear or is it blurred? A bit too blurred. Okay. Just going to see if I can provide any extra illumination and magnification. You see the letters there? That's a little bit better. Okay. We'll go to the next row down. I'm just going to alter the working distance of the magnifier from the letters. Can you distinguish any letters there? Or two blurs? little bit too blurred. Let me get a little bit closer. Maybe one or two. Okay. Cover the other eye now. Okay. Do you have blurred vision at the top there again? Okay. Let's see if we can magnify and illuminate the print. To the next size down. Okay, just a little bit too blurred there. Okay, so that could be a combination of the cataract and early onset macular degeneration just affecting your vision there. We'll do a little refraction shortly to see if we can improve the vision. Right, but next I'm going to just check the pupils with the light. So fairly bright light. 
okay with the exposure very brief okay so just looking over my shoulder at the wall try the right pupil good and the left pupil good just check the response of the opposite eye now excellent i'm just going to swing the light i decide so the pupils seem fine there. You can certainly see a little bit of nuclear sclerosis, lens brunescence in each eye, which is the cataract. I'll have a little look at that shortly with the ophthalmoscope. I'm just going to do a little miniature visual field test now using the red dots. So with your left eye covered with the palm of the hand. I'm going to bring this to 30 centimeters there and I'll compare the results to last time. So can you see all eight red dots at this distance? Okay, but some of them are missing. Okay, can you just describe to me where the missing areas are and on which spot? Do all the spots look equally red? Okay, and for the other eye, cover the other eye and keep looking at the black spot. Bring this into 30 centimeters there. Okay, and do you see all eight red spots? Okay, and the missing areas just point to the spots with the missing areas and just describe to me what kind of loss you're visualizing keep looking at the black spot as we do this and are all the red spots equally red have any washed out areas any change in the color excellent okay going to do a colour vision test now. So looking back at past records here, it seems that you've never had a colour defect. But I just want to have a little look because cataract can cause a little bit of changes to your colour perception. Okay. both eyes open to start with. What number can you see there? Excellent. Okay, so the numbers you see there. see there and just there please excellent okay so what test shall we perform next let's have a little look maybe we should perform some ophthalmoscopy so I'm going to come a little bit closer with the light and have it at the full brightness and reduce it down. Okay, 
keep looking into the distance over my shoulder please and I'm just paying close attention to the crystalloid lens which is the area where the cataract grows I'm just going to note the view through the cataract and the type of cataract that I'm observing I'll maybe give it a little grade as to compare the progression okay keep looking straight ahead just looking in or on the retina continue looking straight just checking the landmark features just the optic nerve looking into the light now let's have a little look at the macula and how that macular degeneration may have altered it's not too bad so there are no signs of wet macular degeneration there but I'll have a little look on the slit lamp later excellent just looking up to the sea Let's have a look at the cataract in the left eye. So, really great three minutes. A little bit of cortical opacities, particularly at three o'clock. Okay, good. Let's have a little look at the posterior lens surface. Have some posterior opacities lurking there. Okay. Brighten the light a little bit because my view is obscured by the cataract. And looking to the right and to the left and up to the ceiling now. Okay, looking down to the floor. Excellent. straight ahead again have a little look at the blood vessels excellent certainly a little bit more cataract advancement compared to last time it's not to worry we can certainly let the consultant know of the findings with a letter so I think I'm going to perform some contact tonometry on your eyes which is just me checking the eye pressure so I'm going to pop a little bit of anesthetic combined with the dye into your eyes you've had this many times before including at the hospital okay just tingles slightly so looking up to the ceiling I'll pop a drop in the right eye excellent blink blink good and looking up again that's a good job mm -hmm. okay. blink again excellent excellent just give it a few seconds for the discomfort to ease and I'm going to set up the Perkins tonometer so this is slightly different to the Goldman this is a handheld 
contact tenometer. So the headrest just rests against the forehead area. That's the probe that just makes gentle contact with the front of the eye. That looks as if we're good to go. So it does touch the cornea, but you won't feel a thing. I'll be just looking through the window. So blink and the contact is there. Good. Good. Okay, let's have a look at the reading. So we have a pressure reading of 20 millimeters of mercury in the right. Okay, blink again. Keep looking straight ahead at one point. Let's get this in position. Good. Have a little look through the window. And it'll make contact just now. Just now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we have a reading of 22 millimeters of mercury. Maybe you can see. Maybe not, but we have 22 millimeters of mercury in the left. So again, just comparing the pressures to last time. They're around the same, so we'll put that on the report as well for the hospital. And you're still taking your glaucoma drops at night, aren't you? Both are. So we're just going to see if we can improve the vision with some lenses now. So we may pop some extra illumination up. Okay, so I have the little vision chart from earlier. Now I'm going to present some lenses. So towards the top of the chart, I know it's a little bit blurry, but do you feel things look clearer? with the lens or without or about the same what's with and without okay let's try a different lens okay are things clearer with without or about the same with the lens and that's without it's with without about the same but a little bit more magnified possibly okay so let's see if you can provide some more magnification rather than clarity are things bigger with the lens better without it's with Not much difference. Okay. Okay, let's try a different type of lens. You feel things are clearer with or without. That's with the lens. It's without. Not much difference. Okay. And for the next lens, it's clearer with. Is that the lenses that we've tried aren't making much difference to the vision so I'm just wondering whether it's worth in the near future having the cataracts operated on because that may certainly make things appear a little bit brighter and clearer for you so I'm just going to see if we have a contrast sensitivity test just bear with me one second Okay, so it looks like we have a, a glare test here. So with the left eye covered, and starting from here, 
this is number one can you distinguish the pictorial shape there can you distinguish a shape here here and what about there okay so you can just about distinguish the shape here so we have level three and the glare test. Just cover the other eye for me now. Okay, and again, starting here, what shape do you see there? Do you see a shape here? And what about here? Just about, do you see a shape on number four there? No. Okay, so it looks as though we are level three on the glare test so there's certainly some impact there likely from the cataract maybe a little bit from the early onset dry macular degeneration okay good so in a short while i'm going to dilate the pupils with some drops and have a little seat in the waiting area and then i'm going to call you back through to do some slit lamp okay so let's get the drops in now. Slightly different to the anaesthetic. Just look up. Good. Blink. Do the other one. Look up. Good. And blink. Excellent. Good. So just have a seat in the waiting area and I'll call you back through shortly. 